Good morning, my friends. Today is Wednesday, June 10th. Time is certainly marching on. It is a beautiful day here in Westfield Center. We have begun officially office hours again this week at the church, and it has been good to see folks who have come in um, or called uh, to check in and such. Not that we haven't been in contact before, uh, but it's been good uh, to see uh, folks out and about and, um, you know, trying to resume some sense of normalcy uh, in the midst of the pandemic, recognizing that things will probably never be normal as we knew it or as we know it uh, again. So um, I am going to wait just a moment here. Good morning, Brittany. Um, and uh, wait just a moment as um, folks see notifications that I've gone live here. Um, again, it's a beautiful day here in Westfield Center. I know it's supposed to rain later, a uh, little muggy today, uh, but looking forward to temperatures cooling off a little bit uh, tomorrow and in the, in the days ahead. Um, but get out there and enjoy, enjoy the sunshine. Um, so this morning, uh, I, I'm going to get started as folks begin to join us. Um, they can catch up later or um, watch it on YouTube later or, or whatever. But this morning, um, as we begin, I have a lot of things um, on my heart and mind that I would like to share with all of you. Uh, some of it related to our church and its ministries and the things that are happening here, uh, as well as uh, things that are happening in the world around us and um, related to our country and, and racism and such as well. So uh, a few things that I want to share with you. Um, first of all, as your pastor, the pastor of Leroy United Methodist Church, I want you all to know um, that I have signed on to a covenant with other clergy and uh, the bishop and cabinet of the East Ohio Conference uh, related to um, systemic racism. And again, as your pastor, I want you to know that I have signed this covenant. And so I'm going to read you the covenant that I have signed on to and then talk about it a little bit. Um, the covenant uh, that is displayed on our conference website, and my signature will be uh, uh, listed there, says, We, the undersigned clergy and laity of the East Ohio Conference, join our bishop and extended cabinet in a covenant standing together to resist racism. As baptized Christian disciples who accept the freedom and power God gives us to resist evil, injustice, and oppression in whatever forms they present themselves, we reject the sin of white supremacy and white privilege. We denounce pr police brutality and racial profiling against people of color, and we demand full protection of the civil rights of all of God's children. We accept our responsibility as people of faith and leaders in our congregations to work for the transformation of the world, our church, and our communities. We covenant with each other to learn, speak, and act in ways that lift up and protect the rights and dignity of all of God's people. And so I wanted the congregation to know that I have indeed signed that covenant. Um, and I invite you to go on the conference website and to look at the covenant. And, you know, if you feel led to please sign that covenant as well. Um, in our uh, baptismal vows, in our membership vows, as a United Methodist, these are the questions that I ask, that have been asked of me when I joined the church at my confirmation, and um, the questions that were asked when I was of my parents when I was baptized, and these are the questions that I ask every person who joins our church or um, is baptized, and these questions say, 
On behalf of the church, I ask you, do you renounce the spiritual forces of wickedness, reject the evil powers of this world, and repent of your sin? Do you accept the freedom and power God gives you to resist evil, injustice, and oppression in whatever forms they prevent, present themselves? And do you confess Jesus Christ as your Savior, put your whole trust in his grace, and promise to serve him as your Lord in union with the church which Christ has opened to people of all ages, nations, and races? And these are the questions, these are the vows that we take when we join the church, when we're baptized. And um, it's time for us to take those vows seriously. And so, again, I have signed this covenant. And, um, you know, I recognize that as a white person, um, I have certain privileges that um, people of color don't have. And it, it, talking about white privilege doesn't mean that... Um, our lives as white people haven't been hard, but it means that our skin color um, hasn't made it harder. And um, so anyway, I wanted to share that with you. Also, I was um, on my morning walk on Monday as I walked around Westfield and went through the gazebo. Um, I was pleased to see that even here in Westfield Center, there are some form of protest. And uh, this morning I saw that this was still there um, at the gazebo. Someone had written on one side of the, um, the sidewalk. It said, we, we said Black Lives Matter. We never said only Black Lives Matter. We know that all lives matter. We just need help with Black Lives Matter because Black lives are in danger. That was written on the sidewalk on the one side of the gazebo on um, the north side of Leroy Road. And then on the south side was a list of names. Um, and so I was pleased to see that right here in Westfield Center. This was our own Westfield Center protest um, against racism. Um, a scripture that I'd like to share with you all today comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 15, uh, it's a familiar one. It's the parable of the lost sheep. And it says here, now all the tax collectors and sinners were coming near to listen to him. And the Pharisees and the scribes were grumbling and saying, this fellow welcomes sinners and eats with them. So he told them this parable, which one of you having a hundred sheep and losing one of them does not leave the 99 in the wilderness and go after the one that is lost until he finds it. When he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders and rejoices. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep that was lost. Just so, I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous persons who need no repentance. Um, and this scripture really speaks to me as it talks about um, the, the lost sheep, the shepherd going after that one sheep that's in danger. Doesn't mean that he doesn't value or love the other 99. It just means that right now, he needs to go after that one that's in danger. And um, I think that's, that's what's happening right now in our world with um, Black Lives Matter. And it doesn't mean that only Black Lives Matter. It just means that those are in danger and we need to do something about it. So as a, as a, as a pastor, um, I'm making that commitment. I've signed on to this covenant to learn more, to read. Um, and I encourage you all to, to learn and to hear, to listen to other people's experiences. I recognize I have not always done that. And um, I, I am sorry for that. And I think that um, we, all, we all need to work on that. And so um, I encourage you to, to think and to reflect and to pray about that and to listen. Um, also, uh, just to share a few announcements about some things that are happening within the life of our congregation. Um, Excited. Again, I mentioned at the very beginning that we have opened uh, the office this week for some office hours, and it has been great to see folks who have come in or called. 
um, and we will be open again for some limited office hours next week, uh, Monday through Wednesday, nine to noon. And then um, we're also opening the building for small group activity. Uh, it's by reservation only. So um, if you need to use the building for groups of 10 or less, uh, please email the church office and we'll send you the list of guidelines um, to be followed and such. This coming Sunday night at 7 o'clock, we will be streaming another worship and song fest. Um, our last worship and song fest went really well and folks really enjoyed it. So um, we'll be doing another one this coming Sunday at 7 p.m. It will be streamed on Facebook and then uploaded to YouTube. And um, if you have a favorite worship uh worship music, praise song, or hymn that you would like for Matt Chidsey and I to play and sing, uh, please let us know either in the comments or send an email to the church office uh, by midnight tonight so we can get all of those things prepared. Also next week, in addition to opening up the building, we'll be doing some prayer and conversation with Pastor Robin outside. Uh, so we'll have outdoor prayer and conversation in the yard uh, for groups of 10 or less on Mondays at 7 o'clock and Thursdays at 3 o'clock. So if you would like to come and be a part of that, uh, please email the church office. We'll, we'll do that also by reservation uh, so that we ensure that everyone is safe and we keep uh, our groups at less than 10. If it should rain, we'll come indoors for that uh, into the fellowship room. Um, another exciting thing that's happening is that we, we will be doing our Vacation Bible School program this year. It will be a little different than we have done in the past, a lot different really, uh, but it's a take-home Vacation Bible School. You can still register your children online. We, have, we want you to register your children online by June 30th so we can get all of the take-home materials prepared. We've got a lot of exciting stuff uh, for the kids to do, and um, the take-home materials um, can be utilized themselves, but we will also have videos available that will be streamed each day and could be viewed later uh, that will enhance all of the take-home materials. So um, we're anxious and excited about that. Um, we continue to follow uh, the guidance of our East Ohio Conference of the United Methodist Church and our health departments related to reopening. And so we are currently in phase two, which is the building open um, beginning next week for small groups. And um, we're not going to be opening for worship yet. Um, so uh, we know that that's hard for folks. That's why we're doing the prayer and conversation time and some other things. Um, so that we still have that connection with one another. Um, so those are the things I want to share with you all today. Um, I pray that you are, are well. If you need anything, please don't hesitate to reach out to the church office or to uh, give me a call or email me, um, text, whatever. Uh, we, we care about you, we love you, um, and we want to ensure that everyone remains safe and healthy in the midst of this time. So thank you all for listening in and have a blessed day. Bye.